my little goobers, welcome back to my art channel and welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Ray or Bogo5, whichever one you guys want to talk about, by, I honestly really don't care. So for today's video, I am doing a sketchbook tour for the very, very, very first time in my art channel career on YouTube before ever. And I actually never imagined myself to actually do one of these videos, so I'm kind of proud of myself for actually reaching this point in my life where I'm actually able to do one of these. I kind of feel a little bit special because, you know, I wouldn't see myself, you know, sitting here recording stuff like YouTubers, I don't know, but um, anyway, let's get on to the rest of the illustrations, and if you guys are wondering how I did these covers that I do, um, I'm also currently doing this on my new current sketchbook here. This is the one that I'm currently using, obviously, as you can see, there's quite the improvement of art, and you will see that throughout the sketchbook, and I will show the illustrations in this one, because there's only like a couple in here. But I'm going to show them to show you guys how I improved from just three months of critiquing myself and um, telling myself uh, what I should improve on in my art and how it helped me, so yeah. But uh, I basically got some scrapbook paper, I drew an illustration, laminated it, glued it on with school glue, and did the same with the letters, and that's pretty much how I got this sketchbook, so or the cover to be like this. So this sketchbook is sketchbook number 30, and let's take a look at this sketchbook. So the first thing that we are greeted to is this introduction page uh, with a little illustration on the corner that I was really proud of three months ago, but now I'm not because this was drawn in May at testing and I really liked it, so I wanted to keep it and I just glued it on here like a little buddy on the introduction page. And this is sketchbook number 30 as we stated before, and this belongs to yours truly, the silly goober recording all of this, Ray Sketchbook Girl 5, and this was started on May 3rd, 2019, and finished on the 27th of July, 2019. So let's look at those illustrations. So the first illustration that I have for you guys is this drawing of a mermaid that I did for Mermaid in my art club, and this was a challenge. And I really liked how the design came out, you know, the colors, it looked really nice, but I didn't really like how it did the anatomy. So this, this illustration right here really encouraged me to keep drawing people. And in most of the sketchbook, you're going to see mostly human illustrations because I was on this drive to improve my artwork and to make sure that my human anatomy was right and, you know, I guess somewhat, you know, uh, aligned with each other, you know, like we're proportionate, so whenever I did commission, you know, everything would be actually much more professional looking, so that was, that was kind of my goal in this sketchbook, um, so that I would be able to improve much more quickly, and it clearly shows that after critiquing yourself, you can definitely 100% improve, at least in a bit. I mean, improvement takes a while, but you know, if you critique yourself, you at least know what you need to actually improve on. So yeah, this was this sketch, and let's move on to the next illustration. The next couple of illustrations are going to be horizontal, so I'm going to be keep on I'm going to keep on flipping these around. So I apologize if that's a little bit annoying. Um, I don't really know how to edit really any of that out, so you know I don't have any fancy video editors. But this illustration was inspired by um, an artist on here on YouTube. She's pretty small, but she's done a lot of marker reviews, and her name is uh, Helena Art. I think, hopefully I'm saying that right, but she does amazing artwork, and I will definitely link her channel below if I remember to. But this was inspired by her art style, and I really like want to inspire the eyes and the hair design off of it, so uh, yeah. So I made a girl inspired off of like watermelons, and I wanted to make her design and character and clothes design off of that, so yeah. This is a drawing of my two characters, Connie, Eva, and Adam, uh, you know, just chilling in the woods, you know, just hanging out, enjoying those summer moments together as friends. And maybe they got off of work or they just came back from training because in my comics, these are both my comic characters that were inspired by Sonic, like the, the, the way how I draw the anthros in this universe. They're in their own universe, but they were like inspired by Sonic, so. Um, but yeah, but in this in their universe, they like fight in wars and stuff, and they kind of work for the government and everything. So maybe this was a day on their day off, and they decided to have a nice ice cream while they probably can because they probably don't get a whole lot of days off because you know they work in the army and stuff. But yeah, let's look what's on the other side. And ooh, okay, I wasn't really you know um I didn't really like this one. Um, I at first I did. I was like, oh wow, this looks so pretty, you know. And then I. 
you know, started getting better at my anatomy later on at the end of the sketchbook. And when I saw this, I was like, oh, you know, it's actually not that great. You know, the, the nose looks like a little mushroom and then, you know, the eyes are too big and, you know, which is true. And then the shoulders are kind of unproportionate. So this was another illustration that encouraged me to keep on drawing, to keep on drawing humans and to try to improve on my artwork. So this next illustration was for a deviant art contest that one of my greatest friends online was hosting and uh, this was actually kind of rushed. Um, I did this in May and obviously in May as any high school and college student knows that May is state testing week or month basically or finals and stuff so I didn't really have a lot of time. I was gonna do a much more detailed picture but this one actually eventually won anyway. Like I was expecting this to get like an honorable mention at most but like I was really surprised and shocked to to see that this got like you know first place and it was really awesome and I just want to say thank you to her and she also got like um she went above like 600 watchers which is awesome and amazing and so congratulations to I think her name is Trisami I don't know how to say that name but hopefully I got it right but uh, I'll link your DeviantArt down below and yeah so I really really enjoyed drawing this and what's on the other side I gotta see if I gotta do it okay I gotta switch the camera view hold on Okay, so this is the next illustration, and if you guys are, you know, long-time watchers, even though this channel was barely being active until three months ago, but um, if you guys are long-time watchers of, or subscribers of my uh, art channel here on YouTube, um, you guys know that I did a while back, not too long ago, like a couple months ago, like a couple months ago, I did a, um, I did a video where I talked about, um, you know, uh, what do you call it? <laughs> Uh, I'm trying to remember, I'm kind of having like a brain fart here, hold on. Uh, no, okay, so I was talking about why I don't come, call myself a professional artist, and this was the drawing that I drew so that it wouldn't be very boring in the background, but uh, yeah, I, I kind of liked it, kinda, I still kind of like it, I mean the eyes are a little off. <laughs> one's kind of looking upward, one's looking more actually at you, so it's a little weird, but you know, it's still a okay mediocre piece. This was concept art for Connie for season or slash saga 2. Um, I really liked how this came out and so I decided to keep it. And this was just like, you know, um, it was it's not a fully finished fillish dear god. It wasn't a fully finished illustration, but I still wanted to keep it just for like a reference so I know where the colors go. And yeah, this is her design for Saga Saga 2 season 2. Whatever you call it in Comic Land, I don't know. Uh, oh, okay. I don't I don't like this one. Okay. I don't like this illustration for many reasons and that is the fact that like the eyes um, The eyes the face. I just don't like this one at all um, pigment kind of Smudged everywhere like here and here And here and it's just a big mess. Oh, and also here. I just noticed that now, but um, This one also encouraged me to keep drawing and you'll definitely see that on the next uh, illustration so yeah, let's look at that and this was basically another um, inspiration for me to keep on drawing, you know, keep on drawing humans because you'll get better eventually. So yeah. So this is the next illustration. This is the one that I was talking about last in the last other clip. Uh, that this is something that really inspired me to keep on drawing, to keep on working on my anatomy, and to keep on working on the alignments of the eyes, nose, and face. And I really, really like this one. I don't really like this one. I mean, the, the face is a little weird for my taste. Uh, her eyes are way too big. I mean, even on this one, her eyes are too big, but like, I really liked how the crescent moons and the stars and stuff came out and how the liquids over here. I really like drawing this type of art, you know, like aesthetically pleasing art. So that's what I keep on trying to draw in the future. And I hope, again, for this one, um, I really hope that my art style stays consistent, has like its own, you know, personal style to it and it's everything's anatomy, you know, everything's proportionate. And um, yeah, so let's get on to the next couple of sketches or illustrations. I keep on calling them sketches, but they're illustrations. Okay, actually never mind, actually never mind. Hold the phone people. There is actually sketches in here and this I just drew these with a Crayola pencil. I was bored and wanted to draw more anatomy from the frog taxidermy on the other page with the not the other one but the one with the lily pads. This was another one that inspired me to keep on drawing to work on my anatomy and I actually really like the pose of this one but the faces oh I don't like that one. That looks so weird. It looks like a, look, a cloud or something but uh, here is a another. Here is another sketch. 
And here is like a lunar Sailor Moon inspired thing. I don't even actually watch Sailor Moon. I've watched it like a couple times whenever it came on TV, but like uh, this was kind of inspired off of Sailor Moon and I wanted to do something with pastels and you know. Okay, so these are two of my characters. This is Adam again, and this is her sister Tasha. She is the leader of the Shadow Hunters, and she's the leader of the Blue Rebels, a like team of people that work in the military. And these are obviously the bad guys, and they're, you know, they got separated as kids. You know, interesting stuff. And they fight each other all the time. You know, warring nations, as you will. And yeah, I actually really liked how this one can her design because these are both new designs So this is what they look like usually all the time, but um, I really liked how this came out and I did this with my hoo hoo markers I really liked it again how it came out I was I thought the cape was gonna come out like crap because I didn't have any like, Really light pastel colors except for this blue gray one But I, I didn't want to use the blue gray one up because it was like already drying up and it's dead now Just letting you guys know the, my sad little blue gray one is dead but yeah, I was really, really happy with how this cape came out. So this next illustration was for my Jealousy in the Art Community video. That video is still working. I actually worked on the script today and you know, on some clips for it, um, but I'm probably gonna redraw or refilm the uh, footage for it because I didn't like how this illustration came out. It's just a little too weird and I didn't like it. I mean, it's okay. It's, it's decent. Here is another random sketch. Another piece that I really, really like, except for this. It got like a little smudgy here, but I really, really like this one and I'm really proud of it. I got this right off of my garden. I'm growing strawberries and they had like this weed wrapped around it. So I kind of got this neckline inspired off of that weed that kept wrapping around the vine of the strawberry. And then here is, oh, hold on, let me actually, hold on, let me actually fix this. So this illustration was featured in my Blissful Honey uh, speed drawing that I did. I'll leave a little card up above for you guys to go watch the video. Uh, and yeah, this was the inspiration, or not the inspiration, but this was um, the final product of that. And here is an alien character that I drew when I was camping outside. Um, I wanted to draw something pretty unique and I wanted to draw, focus on like character design and backgrounds and all that kind of stuff and I really like how she came out except for the eyes. I always have an issue with the eyes because they don't look proportionate at all but uh, that's just my idea. I don't know. Maybe other people might think it's like the Mona Lisa. Uh, here are some other little doodles and oodles. Uh, this, I drew all these on vacation and I drew this. This is um, Dina Norland. I think that's how you say her username. Uh, but this is her character that she did for a draw or draw to senior art style on Instagram And I will link both of her Instagram and her channel down below And uh, this was a sketch that I was gonna color but I never wanted to because the face I just didn't like it and I didn't feel like it was worth drawing And uh, this one I actually really liked because it was done with grayscale markers But um, again, I didn't really like it so, you know, I didn't finish it or whatever um, and this one is some Sonic fan art of Amy and Tangled. I wanted to put- I like, again, drawing stars and bouquets and stuff. It's just really fun to draw in color and uh, it's really aesthetically pleasing. It puts me always in a good mood after I draw it, so I really like drawing all that kind of stuff. And I just wanted to draw some Sonic artwork because I haven't in a very long time, like almost like a year. It's been a year since I've drawn anything with Sonic because I was just so busy drawing other people's OCs for commissions and stuff. But uh, yeah, so I'm really glad I was able to draw this. The next illustration that I have is was featured in my Ohuhu marker video. This was my very first Ohuhu illustration. Um, even though that other drawing, the one with my two characters on it, was drawn with Ohuhu markers previously, um, at the time that was only line art and then I drew this and so this is technically the first one and I really liked it. I really liked how I did the fish but I wish I changed the neck. The neck is too long. Too long. It's too long of a neck. Uh, but yeah. So I think that you guys will really like this illustration because this one was like another turning point in my art journey for my human illustrations because like, you know, I was really trying to practice on drawing really good art and I really wanted to make something really nice and really aesthetically pleasing and I drew this with my hoo-hoo markers and I'm really just really proud of how this came out and I really wish that like, you know, a lot of my art illustrations would come out like this, you know, simple but so pretty to look at. Like I love this little 
hairline over here, this little design or highlight here. I really like that. And the moon, the flowers, the unicorn horn. And I got this design inspired off of by a fantasy and galaxy theme. That's why there's a unicorn horn there, you know, kind of like a fantasy like thing. So, yeah. So this next illustration was uh, with my two characters, Connie and Jackal, and I wanted to draw them in an illustration together. One, to make new designs for them, and two, to use my hoo-hoo markers on them, and three, because I haven't drawn them in a long time, so I wanted to draw these two characters together, and this is what I got. So this illustration uh, was drawn when I was on a two-week vacation trip, so I didn't really have a whole lot of materials, but I'm really glad with how this came out. I love this moon right here, this moon and these flower crowns and these little star thingies over here and the fish and everything. I really like, I really like how this drawing came out. I really like how the background came out. I just went with my Ohuhu markers, Prismacolor, Microns, mechanical pencil, etc, etc, and I was very limited on supplies because I usually have like other brands of pencils, but this was what I drew for the illustration on that trip, and yeah, I really like how it came out. Here is a couple of other illustrations that I really liked a lot. This right here was inspired by chamomile tea, and this one right here was inspired by nothing, but like, I wanted to draw something with like, you know, floral, kind of something to match this, but it wasn't inspired by tea, so I really liked how they did these vines. And again, this was drawn with my ohuhus. I was again more vacation drawings um, or illustrations, and I really liked how these came out as well. So this next illustration in my sketchbook was uh, for like every single time I reach a certain point in my or watcher count, I like to draw a nice little illustration, like you know, thanking you guys for you know all the support and whatever. And this was for uh, reaching 500 watchers on DeviantArt and I wanted to go with like a thunder stormy background theme as you can see kind of like with the clouds and stuff over here and up here and I really liked how this came out and uh yeah so let's move on to the last illustration of this sketchbook and it is this illustration and this is the last one as you can see there are no more illustrations here and this was inspired by um Actually, I don't know what this was inspired by off of. Um, I just, I kind of just drew from my mind and let my mind kind of draw the illustration. But I really liked how this came out and the antlers, I, those are like a nice little um, thing that I put there. And I really liked how the background came out. And if you guys are also wondering how I do these backgrounds, or at least like this rectangle shape, because I know it's kind of hard to do these shapes. I just grab like a saucer or like my tablet and I just take a colored pencil and, you know, just draw around it and that's kind of how I get that border effect or that kind of background illustration and I was like putting these little background things in the background because it just makes the drawing look a lot more nicer it makes it look um, like it has a lot more you know stuff to it like it's not just like a character's head there you know there's more to it it, it makes it look much more pizzazzy than bland uh, but yeah Let's get on to my final thoughts on this sketchbook and also I want to compare it to my current sketchbook and then we'll go on to, you know, end credits and all that stuff. Anyway, here is the sketchbook as we, you know, just reviewed the whole thing and looked through the entire thing and saw all the illustrations, but uh, my final thoughts on this sketchbook is that it's okay. The first couple of sketches, obviously, as you can tell, there's obviously a lot of anatomy issues, um, but I looked upon those issues and I tried to find solutions to fix them. And I also at the same time, you know, looked at other artists to see how they drew their shoulders and eyes and noses and to see how they drew them and to notice all the little details, like, you know, how they were aligned or how the jawline looked, that sort of thing. So I kind of observed other artists and how they drew their certain types of features and kind of tried to imply that on my illustrations to make them look a lot better and much more proportionate. But I want to compare my last sketchbook to my current sketchbook that I just made about a couple days ago. Um, I want to compare the first illustration to the first illustration, and I want to compare the cover to the cover to see how my artwork improved. And I'll even show you like a couple of illustrations that I've already done in this current sketchbook that I'm using. So this is my current, or no, not my current, this is my obviously the older sketchbook, as you can see. The eyes are a lot bigger here, the nose is a lot smaller, the ears are kind of too far up. The shoulders, don't get me started with the shoulders, I mean, come on people, that is, that is just weird. The fingers too long here, and you know, overall the anatomy is all over the place, 
but if we move this aside, hold on, it's gonna get stuck here because I have my background. Um, if we move this aside and compare it to my current sketchbook, here I'll try to get as close as possible because it's got like laminating sheet on the cover. So this way you guys can see the illustration in all its ways. You probably will see it better if I do this, but yeah. This is what that illustration looks like compared to this one. Obviously this one has much more better anatomy. Uh, it's, it's got like, you know, an illustration on the corner. It's got the number, a sketchbook, and you know, certain little things. And yeah, so let's take a look in this sketchbook and then, you know, compare the first illustration to that illustration. Like the first one, you know, the mermaid one, so yeah. Wow, that is a major difference between the two. I mean, like, look at this compared to this. Like, wow, hold on, actually, let me go in there. This way you guys can see from all different types of angles, you know, you guys can see this illustration because I'm really proud with this one. Uh, I really like how I did all these, you know, little highlights over here, the petals, the cracked heart, you know, all that. And I actually just noticed that these characters both have purple hair. I mean, hers is kind of turning into blue at the top, but hers is pure purple and it's more of like a violet, like a very pastel violet. Uh, but yeah, so this is my first illustration for sketchbook number 31. This is from literally like the 23rd of July and this is from the 3rd of May. And let me tell you, the like the, the anatomy and the differences between these two illustrations are so drastically different. And this can definitely prove to other people that if you critique yourself and you know just find out all the issues with your own art, you can definitely improve. Like you don't have to critique yourself in a negative way or like in a very uh, like depressed almost way, but kind of critique yourself in a much more um, mature and you know positive way but at the same time trying to see all the issues and seeing how you can solve them so that you can improve in your art and as you see it really can show like i said before i said i want to fix my shoulders so i went and listened to myself and fixed the shoulders the eyes are much smaller the, the ear is a lot more proportionate to the eyes nose and lips the chin is obviously much more fixed and much more slim. This one's much more weird looking. It looks kind of like a little potato was shoved up there. And then, you know, the collarbone. I mean, it kind of looks a little bit similar, but this is more like, this one's a lot more thinner. This one's a lot more thicker, and that's weird. And yeah, so here are these two illustrations compared to each other. And yeah, I'll, let's look at the illustrations in here. And then, you know, I'll talk about the end credits and whatever. So after that illustration, we have this, or actually after this illustration, we have this illustration. And this illustration was inspired by um, like a bunch of roses and stuff. And um, I saw some really pretty artwork on Google and Pinterest and whatever, and YouTube, and I wanted to draw like that. And I was also drawing with, draw, well, I was watching other art YouTubers while drawing this and listening to Bob Ross for some reason, for some weird reason, and I just decided to draw this. Uh, again, I want to work on shoulders, lips, eyes, nose, you know, all that type of stuff, and work on- I'm also trying to work on my flowers as well, so. I also like how I did the transparent stars. I really like how I did these stars, though, like, oh my gosh, this looks so pretty. Like, the highlights and stuff, it- oh, it just looks so pretty. And, um, again, I used, um, colored fine liners for the outline and line art. And then I have this sketch over here, and I'm actually currently working on this one right now, but this is another one of my characters, and yeah, so that is the final sketch. Or this is the final sketch for now. I'll obviously do a sketchbook tour on this sketchbook when I finish it. Um, hopefully it will have a lot more illustrations other than the not sketchbook number 30, because in sketchbook number 30, I tore a lot of pages out. Obviously this one is a lot more thicker than the other one, but yeah. Um, let's go on to the end credits and you guys can have a wonderful day and whatnot. Anyway, thank you so much guys for watching this video. And I really hope you guys like these illustrations and like the art and liked the advice I kind of gave there to, you know, critique yourself and you definitely will, will improve. Cause I mean, come on, it shows people. I mean, obviously the anatomy is so much more different than, you know, three months ago when it was all janky and weird. I mean, you know, it's still a little stiff, but I'm, I'm, work I'll, I'm working on it. I'm trying to make it much more, uh, much more fluent and much more like, natural but uh anyway if you guys like this video please make sure to subscribe 
Uh, leave a like, leave a dislike, leave your comments down below. Hit that notification bell so you're like the first, first person to ever see this video because this video will be up eventually but you want to make sure that you're the first one there so make sure you hit that bell and yeah um if you guys also want to follow me anywhere else you guys can follow me on deviant art and instagram i'll leave links down below i'll even leave uh links down below for a uh, featured artist of this for this video because i haven't done that in a while uh, I, I know i didn't do that for my last video because i couldn't find any and i didn't also do commissions because i haven't opened any yet but uh yeah so if you guys like this video do all that stuff find me on social media and yeah i hope you guys have a fantastic day keep sketching keep drawing you will definitely improve i 100 percent assure you that you will uh, if you guys have any other ideas for videos that i can do uh please let me know i will try to see if i can actually do them uh with that with that being said uh, have a wonderful magical day and stay rocking